Google under fire for trying to erase a climate change skeptic from Greenpeace's history. President Trump had tweeted his support for that skeptic, is um, Patrick Moore. Now, all right, here's the tweet. Patrick Moore, co-founder of Greenpeace, the whole climate crisis is not only fake news, it's fake science, there is no climate crisis, there's weather and climate all around the world, and in fact, carbon dioxide is the main building block of life. The president was actually quoting my, uh, Mr. Moore there, and he ends it with the word, wow. Joining us, Mark Morano, founder of the climate change skeptic website called Climate Depot. Mark, I'm not interested in discussing whether climate change is real or man-made or whatever. I'm interested in this because I think it's censorship. What say you? Yes. I mean, here's a, here's a situation. Patrick Moore went on Fox News, made these comments. T President Trump tweeted it. And then, within a day, Google erases Patrick Moore's role as the founder, a co-founder of Greenpeace. Now, Greenpeace had been lobbying this for many years, saying, oh, he wasn't one of our founders. But Google took that moment, once President Trump elevated it, to when you look up founders of Greenpeace, Patrick Moore's face disappears. His bio disappeared, whereas previously, a few days before President Trump's tweet, it existed. And this is an ongoing campaign. The problem here is, in courtesy of the Wayback Machine, Stuart, Patrick Moore was listed by Greenpeace's own website for years. Yeah. Is Greenpeace well, International, as a, as a co-founder of the group, is one of the founding members. Hold on a second, Mark, Mark. I just want to read you what Greenpeace and how they responded to the president. Sure. Here they go. Patrick Moore was not a co-founder of Greenpeace. He does not represent Greenpeace. He is a paid lobbyist, not an independent source. His statements about AOC and the Green New Deal have nothing to do with our positions. And I guess that's why Google removed him, because Google agrees with Greenpeace that he wasn't a co-founder. I mean, it gets complicated, right. but essentially, these people are the gatekeepers. They, are, they tell us what we're allowed to read, and they're censoring conservatives and climate change skeptics across the board, and I think that's flat-out wrong. Yeah, actually, at Climate Depot, I actually have the... Analysis. I, I, I cite the book The Commissar Vanishes about Joseph Stalin in Russia. And when a certain commissar would fall out of favor, they would be airbrushed out of the photo. They didn't exist. They would be killed, sent off to a gulag, and then they suddenly didn't exist in official Soviet history. Google is frighteningly following that pattern. Now, the greatest hope we have is the Wayback Machine, because you can see things before they had been doctored. So I would worry that the Wayback Machine uh, website that shows you snapshots of websites, they're the ones that are going to be under fire because they are the ones that can expose what Google's perpetrating. And it's not just Google, Facebook as well. You know, I did a video that had over 10 million likes last summer, and they used my video to lobby climate activists, George Soros groups, to lobby Mark Zuckerberg not to allow climate deniers to have videos on Facebook. And they called him a mis climate misinformer. Mark Zuckerberg, who's a fully committed climate activist, is now under fire for even allowing any argument or dissent. Extraordinary. Mark Morano, thanks for joining us. The issue of censorship will not go away. We we won't let it. Thank, Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Uh